Hello everybody, welcome back to Herbie's Garage. Today we're working on my 2007 Yamaha FJR 1300 and we're going to be doing an oil change, oil and filter change, and I'm going to change the final drive oil. So it's always something that needs to be done and this is a good maintenance item to take care of. So let's go ahead and get started right away. First, let me say the Yamaha really got their stuff together are doing an oil change because here's the filter, here's the drain plug, and here's the sight glass. Man, everything's in one area. That is just so good. I love that. Okay, let's get started on the oil change. And it looks like the oil is going to drain right down onto this plastic thing. So I don't want all that oil collecting in there. So I took the bolt out. And now I'm going to jam me a piece of wood between the center stand and this plastic piece and that should hold it away far enough where I could drain the oil. Then I'll take a 17 millimeter and we'll take the drain plug out. See what the oil looks like. Oh that oil looks brand new. Looks really good. I'm going to have to measure the crush washer and see what that is. I'm sure I've got more of them, but I'll let you know what that is after I measure it. And to take the filter out, this is what I'm going to be using. There's the part number on the bottom. It's a Toyota filter wrench. I think I got this at AutoZone or one of them places. And it fits perfectly if you've got a Yamaha filter on it. I'm going back with a K&N filter. No particular reason, but just thought I would try that. This is my first oil change on the FJR. Yeah, it looks like the crush washer is a 14 millimeter. Then I've got a whole bag of them, so I'll be putting a new one on it. And then there's the old one, we'll discard it. Now while that's draining, we'll come back here to the final drive. We'll take this one off first, because I want to see the level of oil in this, see how much is in it before I drain it. See if it's full. And it is. So, let's go ahead and Ahead and break that one loose. We'll drain this out. I'll show you what I'm putting back in it. And I don't think there's much on there. It's got a little bit of goo, but it's not bad. That's to be expected. And since that oil is a little heavier, that'll take a little bit longer to drain. So we'll go back to the engine oil. Okay, now we'll clean off in here where our filter seals at. And we'll take our and we'll take our K and N filter. KN148. Now I like that that they have a seal on it. Keeps the dust out of the filter. And that's what it looks like. And it's got a 17 millimeter on the end of it. 
these come pre lubed but I'm just gonna put just a touch on here doesn't need it but I'm gonna do it Screw that on. It won't take much to tighten. That's good enough. Then we'll take our drain bolt with our new crush washer. And we'll screw that in. Move our pan out of the way. And we'll tighten our drain plug. There we go. Take our wood off of there and make sure that this is all cleaned off in here. I got a little bit of oil in there, not a lot, but a little bit. There's a foam, piece of foam in there. And I'm just going to go ahead and wipe the engine down real good. Even though I didn't really get a whole lot in there, I'm going to wipe it down anyway. Make it look nice and purdy. Alright. So now, all I got to do is put the bolt back in there. And we'll fill it up with oil first to make sure that there's no leaks. Sometimes these fill caps get a little bit stuck, so. so there we go. I always like to clean my funnel out just in case. Yeah, that looks good. And this is what I'm putting in it. It's a 20W50 Advanced Full Synthetic Mobile One Oil. For motorcycles. And as long as it's JASO MA slash MA2 certified for wet clutch application, that's the main thing. But I want to make sure this has got 20W50 in it because that's what the manufacturer rec recommends on this bike. Okay. Now let's start it up. Okay, let's go ahead and start the bike. Okay, that was long enough to Fill the oil filter, we'll let it settle down and uh, we'll recheck the oil level. Now we'll move back to the final drive and we'll top that off, fill that up and top it off. Okay, now we'll put the drain plug back in. Take a little makeshift funnel thing off of it. And then this is what I'm putting in it. It's a Valvoline 75W90 gear oil, full synthetic. So this is what I'm putting in. It's got an easy flex tube to put it in with. So let's open it up. And we'll 
cut the top off. Okay. Whoop. Now let's put some in it. Supposed to fill this up to where it's just coming out the top. Okay, if you can see that, it's full up to the top. So that's perfect. Got some nice clean oil in there. I like it. Okay, I'm done with that. Okay, that was a quick and easy thing to do. That's one maintenance item I can check off. I know for sure that I got the right oil in it and everything's gonna be good. Final drive oil is good and clean now, so we'll move on to the next project. <laughs> I don't know if you can tell, uh, if you saw my last video, I had a uh, custom seat on this bike, and I'll talk about that again another time, but I bought it like that, and I wasn't a big fan of it, so I ordered this. It's a uh, Yamaha Cus uh, see, Comfort. This is a Yamaha Comfort seat, and I got it from a uh, FJR owner's forum member. His name is Dale. Dale, thank you very much. Man, this seat is super nice. Almost looks brand new, it does look brand new. It's got the fancy FJR riding on it. And I like this seat a lot better than the custom one. So I think I'm gonna be really happy with it. Uh, time will tell, I gotta do some riding and uh, see how it actually feels. I just put it on just a couple minutes ago. I got it in the mail and I couldn't wait to get it on. So it's one of those things that only takes a minute to get on, so I did that. And also put this top box on. I did a little short video on that. And uh, I know there's kind of mixed feelings on having a top box on the FJR. But, man, I got a lot of stuff to take with me. And uh, I got to make sure I have something. And I wanted to have a little bit of a light on the back of it, brake light, to help for people to see me stopping. So, anyway, that's all I have for you today. I appreciate you guys coming along and watching. And there's just always something uh, for me that uh, is comforting about oil changes on a, um, whether it's a car, motorcycle, lawnmower, it doesn't make any difference. Uh, it just makes me feel better about it. So I'm feeling better about it. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next one.